2 Peter chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. But there were also lying prophets among the people then, just as there will be lying religious teachers among you. They'll smuggle in destructive divisions, pitting you against each other, biting the hand of the one who gave them a chance to have their lives back. They've put themselves on a fast downhill slide to destruction, but not before they recruit a crowd of mixed up followers who can't tell right from wrong. They give the way of truth a bad name. They're only out for themselves. They'll say anything, anything that sounds good to exploit you. They won't, of course, get by with it. They'll come to a bad end, for God has never just stood by and let that kind of thing go on. God didn't let the rebel angels off the hook, but jailed them in hell till judgment day. Father, I see there is nothing that escapes you. Today, I come asking for protection from lying spirits. I do believe there are people with the best of intentions and a longing to help others that get trapped by this world system of religious ways. Without true discernment, there is no way for any of us to stand on our merit against these lying spirits that drag us down the wormhole of appearances. Keep my heart ever humble before you. Expose these devices of our enemy for what they truly are. Keep my heart from judgment against these lying religious teachers, but rather fill my heart with your love for them and set them free. I know you will not allow the actions to continue and you are just. So may the sure mercies of David soften their hearts or seal their future. May your goodness and kindness envelop their lives, offering those opportunities for repentance. I know this is who you are. You are love. I know you love them as much as you love me. Guide our interaction with these lying religious teachers to reflect your love, no matter the outcome. Thank you again for your discernment to guard our hearts, unconditional love that sets us free from fear, and strength to be your light in this world of mixed messages. May your message become clearer in us as we walk hand in hand with your Son, Jesus. Amen.